its cycle around the galaxy every several thousand years. This deadly meteor stream is also known as the Wandering Demon because it devours everything in its path and leaves untold amounts of destruction in its wake. Millions of lives have already been claimed by this roaming beast and the death toll continues to rise. the Vandern meteor stream on radar, Captain. We have a fix on its ETA, 780 seconds until impact. Spectrum optical analysis has confirmed 75% of its makeup. I'm forwarding the data to you now. Be careful, and don't forget to account for the gravitational field shift. Come on! Haven't you spicka chicks taken care of that meteor stream yet? We're ready to rock! Why don't you kin step aside and let us lions take over? <laughs> Man, jerks. They wouldn't say that to our faces. Ladies, get a hold of yourselves. Our mission is to protect the space station from the meteor stream, and we need absolute focus. Yes, yes ma'am, Captain, Captain Julia. Julia. Loosen up, Julia. We haven't worked together in forever. Let's enjoy this. Why don't we go someplace cozy and have a drink together when this is over? What do you say, Captain? Sound good? Not even close. <laughs> hey, I think she likes you, Captain. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the Vandern meteor stream is approaching! Stand by for instructions, Vega Platoon. We're analyzing their number and trajectory now. The stream will reach the station in three minutes, Captain. The number of meteors that we need to destroy is approximately 10. Iron Burger is preparing to attack. Prepare to intercept. Lower the shield as soon as the main battery and the missile arrays are ready to fire. Vega Platoon, the data analysis isn't finished yet. Wait until we calculate the exact point and method of attack. I'll be old and gray by then. We're doing this my way. Maras! Attack! Keep on firing! Let it loose, man! All right, hold your fire. Yes, Captain. The first wave of the meteor stream has been evaded. Destruction of the space station has been prevented. Pick a platoon, hurry! Where's that data? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, we did it! Right on! Do we rock or what? <laughs> Why did you do that? Do what? Save the space station from destruction? 
Because I could, that's why. Pity. You haven't changed a bit, have you, Maros? You screwed up, Captain! What? <laughs> what the heck is her deal, anyway? It must be that time of the month. The main body of the Van Dern Meteor Stream is on a confirmed intersect course with Central Station. Projected time of impact, six hours. Sirius Platoon, we've been ordered to replace Vega Platoon on the mission to protect Central Station. Let's move out. Subatomic warp generator ready. Orbit network radar is a go. Big One is now in takeoff position. This is a very dangerous situation. Let's look sharp, Platoon. Atomic boiler pressure is a go. Main circuit online. All energy levels are ready for takeoff. The warp drive coupling is now in place. All systems green, Captain Bulge. Awaiting your command, sir. Let's move out. Ahead full. I saw this coming a mile away. I knew those two wouldn't get along. But Captain Moross and Captain Julia were in the same platoon together. They've known each other for a long time. It's not like they just met. What? I didn't know they used to date. Date? Who said anything about dating? That's enough personal uh, talk. Sorry, Captain. The second wave of the Van Dern Meteor Stream will reach us here in three hours. According to our reports, this second wave is much more massive than the first. We're anticipating that we'll need to destroy a wide variety of meteors in order to save Central Station. We'll know more when the stream comes in range of our orbit network radar. But I expect that we'll need to deploy our full complement of fighters to assist our standard armaments in the attack. And let me make one thing clear. You'll be following my orders on this mission. That means all serious platoon members will follow my directions, not Captain Bulge's. There will be no exceptions to this whatsoever. The name of this mission is Operation Van Dern Sweep. I want all of you to finish checking your posts before this operation kicks off. That's all. Excuse me, Captain. What is it? Well, you said no exceptions. But what if it's an emergency, ma'am? Can't we make our own judgment? Did I say to follow my orders or to make your own judgments? But ma'am... No buts. You'll follow my orders or go home. We're doing this mission my way. Man, no wonder she had problems with Vega Platoon. You should try to take it easy, Captain. Hmm, look who's talking. You know that I can't change, Schwanheld. You mean because of that day? That's right. Captain, the 162 is being sucked in by the gravitational pull. It'll burn up if it gets any closer. Not even the Southern Cross can take that heat. Or maybe it can. Julia, can we get closer if we divert all power to shields? I'll run a simulation. Give me 30 seconds. We don't have 30 seconds. I'm going. What the hell? This is Eagle One. Taking off. Maras, I'm analyzing the data. Just wait a second. Forget it. I told you. There's no time to wait. I'm going in. <sighs> Come on, baby. Hold on. We're losing her! given myself for that day. We might have been able to save the 162 if I had just acted a little faster. And Maras's face wouldn't look like a jigsaw puzzle. 
I promised myself that I wouldn't let anything like that happen ever again. I appreciate the advice, though, Captain. Maybe you can give Maras some, too. Tell him to stop acting like a juvenile hotshot. I'll mention that. Hey, bartender! Are you blind? We're on E over here! Just a moment, Mr. Jose. Just a... get your butt over here! So they can't work with Vega Platoon, huh? Well, screw them. If we didn't take action, the situation would have been worse. Isn't that right, Captain? We have to be ready to lay it all on the line. To take the chances and be ready for anything. Yeah, well said, Captain. And not just on the Iron Burger. We've got to be ready to perform at all times. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, this is it. Prepare to launch Operation Van Dern Sweep. The meteor stream is approaching, Captain. Falcons 1 and 2 from Spica Platoon. Deploy to the left. Eagles 1 and 2 from Sirius Platoon take the right. Yes, yes Captain. Captain. East on the x-axis, two degrees north on the y-axis. Prepare all cannons. Clear the orbit shield. All space fighters, attack! Manabu, heads up, 12 o'clock. Right. That's it. A little closer. Whoa, that's a big one! Heads up! Fire! Got it. So far, the operation is going according to plan, Captain. This just might go off without a hitch. Let's hope so. Hey, Captain. Are you all right? Is everything cool? Oh, oh yeah. Everything's just fine. I was just thinking. <laughs> That's what we came here to avoid. Well, it didn't work. I guess I've got no choice but to go and kill the bartender. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Our data was wrong. There are more meteors than we projected. The gravitational field shift must have distorted our readings. That's not good. So how many more are we talking about? Shouldn't things be getting better instead of worse? It's starting to get a little too hot to handle here. Same thing on our side. This is intense. I... The data is wrong. I know. I'm sorry, but the gravitational field shift is messing up our radar. Severe structural damage to Coach 4. If this keeps up, we'll lose Big One. Captain. Doing. How dare you leave your post during my operation? Get back where you belong, right now! <laughs> We're working on the data. Fall back and stand by for further instructions. No, negative. With all due respect, I can't just sit back and watch. There's no time to wait. I'm going in. 
Forget it! I told you! There's no time to wait! I'm going in! Captain, there's a comet on the way! What? Great skies! It's unbelievable! A meteor is approaching from the port side! We can't evade! What? Hey, you shouldn't let your guard down like that! Maras! Hey, you didn't think we were gonna let you guys have all the fun now, did you? Captain Maras! I don't know what all this fuss is about. Just a big rock. Let's smoke it. Our main battery. Right. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, baby. Wait. Huh? Hold your fire. I, I don't want to rush you, Captain, but would you mind telling us why? Listen up. The comet is primarily composed of crystallized cosmodium, one of the hardest substances known. What's that mean? It means if you shoot it, you won't destroy it. You'll only redirect it, which could cause far more damage. I need two minutes! What?! No matter how hard the substance is, there must be a place where its molecular bond is weak. If we can pinpoint and shoot it, we can probably destroy it. What? Probably? You're crazy! We can't wait for your unreliable analysis! Listen to me, you can't afford not to! Two minutes, that's all. But Captain... Thank you, Captain. Big One, we're ready! Pull up so we can connect Big One to the Iron Burger. Transfer all available energy to their main battery. Yes, sir. I analyze the structure of the comet using all sensors. Make sure you don't miss anything. Yes, ma'am. Maggie, forget about defense. We need you and Shelly to help collect data. Yes, Captain. No worries. We'll pick up the slack. Go to it. We've got you covered. Thank you, guys. That's far enough. Full stop. Yes, Captain. Connect and begin transferring energy. Yes, sir. Energy level is at 80% of maximum. Connect the subatomic cannon and stand by. Target and scope are fully operational. Energy level is at the absolute maximum, sir. The comet's at 400 megameters and closing. 380 megameters! Come on, where is it? Where is your weak point? The transfer of energy is complete. Energy level is exceeding the maximum, sir. This is crazy! Let's go for it! Stand by. I gave her my word. Eagles 1 and 2, emergency! We've got two meteors about to hit Iron Burger! Got him! I have visual contact with the comet. Man, it's huge! Return to Big One immediately! Yes, Captain. The comet is at 180 megameters in closing! The situation is critical! We're out of time, Captain! <sighs> yes! That's it! I found it, Maras! I've got it! Relay the coordinates! Right! Target east, 35 degrees! North, 14 degrees! Tolerance range, plus or minus 0.42%! I got it! Targeting east, 35 degrees, north, 14! Setting tolerance to plus or minus 0.42%! Nabu, is everyone okay? Affirmative. We're all fine. How's it look out there? Like it's snowing. It's gone, Captain. We did it! 
Not bad for a slowpoke. Hey, Captain. Why did you come and help us, Maras? Oh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, my scar started itching. It wouldn't let me be. You're never serious. Julia. I came because I couldn't stand to see you cry again. That's why. Hey, stop that. I won't be able to take it if you cry. You know, I'm awful thirsty, Captain. What do you say we go have that drink? All right, but you better behave. Don't I always? Look. Do you think that that's none of your business? Sometimes strong-willed people love from afar. They meet and then part ways again like two trains passing in the night. But the bonds tying them together never disappear. beautiful clothes, but what's lurking on the inside? When a casino train is attacked, the passengers have to face the perils of Planet Gain. But when hard times come, it's easy to tell the beast from those who are truly human. See you next time on the Railways. What is a soul? What is love? 
Neither can be seen or touched, and yet people have always believed in their existence. Perhaps these intangibles are more real than the things we see around us, for all things must pass. But can the same be said of love? Can the same be said of the soul? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a job. I spend most of my time rock climbing or sailing. Now we're talking. <laughs> hey! There you are. What are you doing, silly? Let's go have fun. Come on, you promised you would teach me how to play poker. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I'm sorry, but my well's gone dry. It's empty. Uh, my business went belly up and now I'm broke. I had a little left, but I put it all on a hand and lost it. <laughs> Are you telling me you don't have anything of value at all? No way! I have the most priceless treasure in the world! I have you! That's all I need to be happy! You really are an idiot! Did you think I was hanging around you for your charm and good looks? No! There's only one reason I'd be with a cross-eyed toad like you! Oh yeah, and I can't stand that annoying voice of yours! She didn't even like the way I talk? Bartender? Get Mr. Oyama the usual. Gladly, sir. Thank you, Conductor. Here you go, Mr. Oyama. She wasn't the right one either, was she? Afraid not. Sometimes I wish I wasn't loaded. Don't worry, you'll meet the right one someday, I promise. She'll be just like an angel. You're always lifting my spirits. I wish you could have a drink with me. Hmm. Well, I can't drink what you drink, but I can sip on this. Perfect! Here's to friendship! <laughs> Were they shooting at us? Yes, they're space pirates! Space pirates? Headquarters! Grace Wealthy has derailed, Commander. It's on a crash course with Planet Geen. Dispatch Sirius Platoon immediately! Wow, I've never seen a train like this. That's because you've never seen the Grace Wealthy before. She's one of a kind. A Galaxy Railway's luxury liner. You won't find a nicer casino train anywhere. Awesome. I've always dreamed of gambling on that beauty. What a place to crash. Planet Geen, the train-eating monster. It's the soil and atmosphere here. They rapidly corrode any kind of metal. Even with the special anti-corrosive coating that SDF trains are equipped with, Big One couldn't last more than six hours on this planet. Ordinary passenger trains can only survive for an hour. Sir, our scanners have detected metals 50 kilometers east of here. I'd like to join the search. That's out of the question. Your body is part metal, Yuki. It's too dangerous. Not if I wear a protective suit. There may be crash victims who need medical attention. There they are, David. Right. Got it. Captain, we found the crash site. There are a few dozen survivors. We're going in for a landing. Just be careful. Yuki, I double-checked the joints in your gear. You never know. Right, thanks, Bruce. Over here! Oh, oh, what the hell just land already? You incompetent grunts, come on! Let's get the show on the road! Get us out of here! Typical government employees. Slow and inefficient. Get out of my way! Uh, Yuki! Are you out of your mind? We came here to help you people! Is that a fact? You mean sometime this year? Come on! Take it easy, Yuki. <laughs> 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 
Look, I know they're rude, but they almost died. Let's cut them some slack. Right, I hear ya. I'm okay, don't worry. There's room for everyone, please take your time. So much for my dream train. What a letdown. Are you okay? Somebody help me! Please! I think he's dying! Hang in there! Don't you give up! Do you hear me? Help is on the way! You're gonna be alright! This is Manabu. We found a crew member. Hurry! He's not doing very well! Please, it's no use. I'm afraid it's too late. What do you mean it's too late? Don't say that, Conductor. Thank you for being my friend. Don't worry, you're going to make it. You'll see. Goodbye. We'd better get you to the transport. Come with me. This may not be appropriate for a robot, but may he rest in peace. They should at least have someone service cocktails! They've got us herded in here like a bunch of animals! This is a disgrace! They just survived a crash, and all they can do is complain. Really? Where's the love? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Oyama? I thought you might like to have this. Hey, who are you? What's your name? Oh, I'm Manabu. Manabu Yuuki. Thank you, Manabu. Thank you very much. Why are we just sitting here? Yeah, yeah take off already! I'm hungry! This is some rescue! I'll have your job! Vertical thrusters! What's happening? Is the engine malfunctioning? No, it's a cargo overload alarm. Too heavy. There's no way. Uh -oh. Looks like we've got company. Try to shake him off. He's on the roof. Right. down no <gasps> negative what do you mean why not bruce we can't put our passengers in danger manabu yuki you're all right we've got a fix on your transmission hold on don't you dare land until you take those passengers back <sighs> yuki use these till we get back right Manabu, David and Luis just returned. I'm sending them back out in a fighter. Yes, sir. Eagle One is ready for takeoff. Proceed. 
We can't stay out here in the open. My train is sending help. Let's hide until they get here. We've got to get out of here. There'll be more of them on the way. Bring her back, guys. Don't fail. You can't! Captain, Yuki has closed her communications channel. We have no way of tracking her. Don't give up. Keep trying. Eagle 2! Watch the time! The corrosion's already eating through Big One's coating! Yes, sir! Eagle One, did you copy that? The protective coating on Big One is starting to give way! We need to find Yuki and get out of here! Roger, Captain. We copy. Manabu, we've got the west side of the jungle. You and Bruce take the east. Got it. That'll be us if we don't take off! Why the hell are we waiting? Yeah, let's get out of here! Big One, this is Yuki. Do you copy? Please come in! been out for a while. Are you okay? You... you've been taking care of me all this time? Are you crazy? Do you realize you jumped out of a transport? I would have been a goner for sure. You saved my life. I, I don't know how to thank you for that. You don't have to. It was my duty. Well, there aren't many people in the galaxy who would do something like that. Trust me, I think you're a very special person. Oh, well, I was created that way. I guess we all were, weren't we? It's just that most of us have lost sight of that. Besides my own mother, you're the only woman who's ever been truly kind to me. And you're the first pretty girl who's ever given me the time of day. I was always one of those guys that nobody ever seemed to notice. But my company discovered Cosmonite on my home planet, and it changed everything! Then people started being nice to me. What's wrong? Nothing. C'est la vie. And besides, I didn't think I'd ever meet someone like you in this life. Oh, what do you mean? You're so genuine and kind, everything a human should be. It's funny you say that. You see, I'm... Never mind, it's not important. What is important is you. My mission is to get you out of here alive, and that's what we need to focus on. <laughs> Men, big one, this is Yuki. Please respond. Hey, Yuki. What is it? If we do get out of this alive, well, I, uh, I was thinking that maybe if you didn't have a boyfriend, we could. Uh, what am I saying? You're too beautiful to go out with me. That's not true, Mr. Oyama. You don't have to say that, Yuki. It is true. I must have died and gone to heaven. There's something you need to know. What? I'm a medical sexeroid. <gasps> Try to breathe deeply and slowly if you can. The concentration of oxygen in the air on this planet is so high it causes hypernia. Just let me know if you have trouble breathing again. I can neutralize it for a while. Are you going somewhere, Yuki? My shipmates will have a hard time finding us if we stay in here. We should go outside. Yuki, what's wrong? Are you okay? Yes, don't worry. I'm fine. The corrosion.
corrosion is beginning to affect me. My body's not like yours, it's a machine. If I don't get out of here soon, I'll end up just like the conductor. Please don't say that. <laughs> All serious platoon members, return to Big One. The corrosion has reached critical levels. Abandon the search. Captain, just give me a few more minutes. I can find her. Negative, Manabu. We're out of time. Return to Big One. The search is over. But we can't just let Yuki die. Manabu! Please, just a little longer. I can't give up on her now. I have to Yuki, try. we can't commit suicide with all the passengers. Get back to Eagle Two, now. Do it, Manabu! That's an order! <laughs> Yuki... Preparing for takeoff. Manabu... <laughs> oh. Oh, Mr. Oyama! <laughs> Manabu and the others have just returned! Yuki's alive and well! Good news. Let's move out. You risked our lives for an android? What's wrong with you people? Are you out of your minds or what? What minds? They're all idiots! Anyone knows that an android can be replaced! Manabu? That's enough out of you! Mr. Oyama? You know that's not the case, Mr. Oyama. I'm not sure why you're saying that. Because it's true, you're human. But I'm a medical sexeroid. My body is operated and controlled by artificial intelligence. I told you that. It has nothing to do with your body. I'm not sure I understand. Being human has to do with how a person acts. It's your kindness and compassion that makes you human. And your love. Do you love him? <sighs> Manabu Yuki, are you in love with him? How can I be? That's not possible. Although, I do feel that way sometimes. I don't know why it's difficult to explain. It must have something to do with how I was created. There was a woman from Earth. I was given her personality and appearance. Manabu must resemble someone she kept in her memory. Someone she must have loved very dearly. Hey Louise, how is she? Oh, great. She just needs a few minor parts replaced when we get back, and she'll be just fine. <sighs> what a relief. There you are, Manabu. I'm leaving Yuki in your hands. Take good care of her. <laughs> what is this invisible mystery called love? Many deny its very existence, but those who experience it know it to be real. Though they cannot touch it, they can feel it in their heart. And those who have experienced pure love all agree on one thing. That life would be but a hollow pageantry without it.
スへと旅立つ。さあ。A pack of treasure hunters crash land on a remote planet of ice, the resting place for a priceless jewel known to grant immortality. And when Big One swoops in to rescue the only remaining survivor, I get more than what I bargained for. Will an old flame be a stroke of good luck or my own misfortune? See you next time on the railways. Non-existent, the result of constant extreme winter weather. However, somewhere on this frigid planet, the most beautiful jewel in the universe exists. <coughs> For that reason alone, many treasure hunters have traveled to Hargalu in the hopes of finding this fabled precious jewel. But to this day, none of those seekers have ever made it back alive. Captain, we've just received word that a small spacecraft has crashed 10 kilometers from the station on Hargalu. Affirmative. Let's head that way.
Miss, are you alright? Miss, can you hear me? Irene? I don't believe it. Where am I? You're safe now. An SDF search party found you unconscious in the snow. You suffered superficial wounds, but you'll be all right. So don't worry. Well, it's been a while, <gasps> Irene. It can't be. <gasps> hey, are you all right? <gasps> now, let me guess. You came here looking for treasure. Beautiful. You haven't changed one bit. I knew one day we'd meet again. The official account is that they got into trouble while attempting a landing and crashed. Fortunately, the flight recorder managed to document the events leading up to the incident. Look, there's something there. Would you rewind the tape? There, see? The people here have stuck with an old-fashioned way of life that could be a local guard. Because of all the ancient monuments found here, Hargalu has been categorized as a Class I historical sanctuary by Galaxy Railway's headquarters. But most of the people who visit come for a different reason. Isn't a treasure supposed to be hidden here? That's right. The most beautiful jewel in the universe, the Blue Flame of Isparil. Most scholars agree that it's buried in a ravine here known as the Cauldron of Enuve. The Blue Flame of Isparil? Legend has it that whoever possesses the gem will have eternal beauty. It's all nonsense. Where do you think you're going? It's okay, Bruce. Just let him be. We can't let her go because she's under investigation. Once we drop her off at headquarters, he'll be fine. <gasps> Taking off so soon? It's been seven years and you're leaving without even saying goodbye. <laughs> me just who do you think you are you mean you don't remember now isn't that a pity well perhaps you'll remember the one million abels you stole from me that rang a bell didn't it david forgive me i'm so sorry i never meant to hurt you but you knew that there hasn't been a day that's gone by that i haven't thought about you oh david i do love you it's just that i i i need your gun thanks look it'll never work out between us trust me but i guess you knew that too Goodbye, David. You let her get away? Don't tell me you're still not over her yet. She dodged me for seven years. You don't think I'd let her get away as easily as that, do you? So what do you say we bet on it, Bruce? One million Abels if I can get Irene back in one piece. I'm no fool. She might get shot before then. Mister, you saved my life. All right, treasure hunter. If you want to live, then I'd suggest you stay quiet and come with me. Oh. No thanks, I do just fine on my own. Don't take this personally, old man. <laughs> so what's up with you and this Irene lady, David? That's none of your business, Manabu. Her name is Irene Summer and she's under investigation. That's all you need to know. And she left David seven years ago and took a million of his Abel's with her. 
Now that's what I call a talented woman. I can't wait to meet her. So was it love at first sight? How did you two meet? Stop it, Louise. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't want David to go over all the gory details, although I'm sure it must have been very painful. You know, I envy you for having such a thrilling romance. How awesome! Aw, go ahead, David. Tell Louise the whole story. Why not? Oh, cut me a break, will you? <laughs> I get it now. David's shy. I would have never guessed. You're home early tonight. How did the hunting go, Lady Morgana? It was a waste of time. Just four rats. Not even enough to feed the Maka Ravens. <sighs> what a magnificent castle. I wonder who lives here. I don't know, but it's awfully late to be knocking, isn't it? How do you know she's in here? The signal stopped. This is the only place around. The castle is closed now. Come back in the morning. An aircraft went down near here. We think one of the survivors might be inside. My name is Kenderick, the chief knight of Gusfontail Castle. Perhaps it would be better if you spoke to Lady Morgana regarding this matter. Come this way. Please, wait here. Poor unfortunate travelers, so many come to seek, but none ever leave. The blue flame of Isperel is cursed. Put it on and you end up being its slave. So you who go to the jewel will be ruled by the blue, blue flame of Isperel. You who sail among the stars, welcome to my humble castle. How do you feel now, treasure hunter? Was it worth coming all the way out here for the blue flame? All of your shipmates are dead by now. The Maka Ravens are feasting on their lifeless carcasses even as we speak. Should I kill you now? Or should I let you go free? I take no pleasure in killing beautiful women. I despise the greed in your heart that brought you here, but I admire your bravery. So what do I owe you for my freedom? You owe me nothing. If you really want the blue flame, make your way to the cauldron of Anuve. Follow this hallway and it will lead you to what you seek. So this Irene, the woman who survived the crash, she's the one you're looking for? That's right. It would appear that Irene was chased to your castle by some men on horseback. That's what we're guessing in any case, judging by the tracks that we followed in the snow. We were also following her with this tracking device, but we lost the signal when we got close to your castle. This is the only place that she could have found refuge. Well, it's obvious that your device is broken. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's getting late. Bruce, look! It's working. So she is in here. And she's on the move. It's a trap! I don't trust that guy. I wonder if the jewel's really down here. Stop it, Morgana. I don't want to kill anyone anymore. Tie me up before it's too late. No, just kill me. Lady Morgana, it doesn't have to end that way. There must be something we can do to lift the curse. There has to be. Change my fate? But how? The way I see it, you're merely a prisoner of the jewel. So it stands to reason the curse will be lifted if we find a new soul to take your place. But I can't do that. You know what will happen to me if I give up this necklace? If only it didn't transform me into the Black Knight and cause so much death. 
But my lady, you know as well as I do that there's no other way. to the forbidden altar at the bottom of the cauldron of Anove. <gasps> that doesn't look too inviting. Wait, my friend. You seek the cauldron of Anove, do you not? Listen, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. I don't care about your precious jewel. I see, but I believe your friend does, so you should know this. The blue flame has a curse on it. There's a heavy price to use its power. It will possess you, and it will own your soul. Fancy meeting you here. <gasps> David. And you thought you had gotten rid of me back there, didn't you? I guess I should have tried a little harder. Goodbye, David. Irene! No way! Where are we? It's like we're in another world. Castles don't just disappear. The communicator's out. One thing's for certain, this isn't right. Who cares? I just want to find the blue flame and get the hell out of here. Things rock solid! Oh great, David's locator signal just dropped off the grid. Maybe we should contact the captain. I just tried to open up a channel. There must be something interfering with our communicators. Witnessing a scene from the past. Crazy? It's beautiful. Get out of the way! David! What did we do? Why are you trying to kill us? Why do you torment me? Don't you understand? I'm a slave to the jewel. I can't hold this sword back any longer. Go now! No way! I came here to get that jewel and I'm not leaving without it. I said go! Don't do it! Don't put the necklace on! Irene, what good is eternal life if it means living like that? Just leave it and go. The jewel's mine, and don't you try to stop me, David. It's already got you, I can tell! No, you're wrong! Don't you dare to go to the blue, blue flame of Vesperil. Thank you for everything. Somehow your love for one another overcame the curse of the blue flame. Goodbye. My thoughts will be with you always.
disappeared. David, about the money I took from you. Ah, uh, forget it. Just consider it a loan. Goodness. I think you're getting soft in your old age. <laughs> Tell me what that was all about. It's a long story. Oh well, at least you're still alive. Yeah. If Gus Fintail Castle wasn't real, what was it? I don't know for sure, but maybe it was the desires of two souls who finally realized that it wasn't what they wanted after all. <laughs> Spoken like a true ponytailed hippie. The blue flame of Isperil has been put to rest for now. But until man can conquer his desires, there will always be greed. For that reason, someday, someone might try to awaken the legend from its sleep. We were able to rescue the sole survivor of the downed aircraft without incident? That's your official report? That's exactly how it went down, Captain. I see. Now prepare Big One for takeoff. Yes, yes sir! Seen Irene anywhere? <laughs> Irene's already gone, David. She left this for you. Sorry, David. I just didn't have enough courage to say goodbye face to face. But I promise I'll come see you again. Know this. You mean the world to me. Love, Irene. One thousand Abels. 999,000 to go. I hope it's sooner than seven years next time, I mean. killed when an intruder infiltrates SDF headquarters and starts wreaking havoc. But as we try to hunt the alien down, some old demons start hunting me. Am I really Toxic Bruce? See you next time on The Railway. Sorry.
Platoons and battalions initiate first class emergency alert. Repeat, initiate first class emergency alert. Yes, sir. Declared state of first class emergency alert. All active duty SDF troops have been notified. Division 25 reporting in. The SDF main gate is now shut down. 10 4. Gate 34, closed and secure. 10 4. What in our nation's going on now? Commander, the main entrance has been closed. Good. Sensors indicate the intruder is heading toward Block N right now. Yugi, let's go. While working to protect law and order, many dangerous situations arise. Oftentimes, one individual will die while the one standing next to him will be spared. But these survivors are usually not branded as lucky. On the contrary, they are usually avoided by their peers in battle because they are seen as emissaries of death. The intruder is now passing through block two. I want that block locked down immediately. Pulse rate 68. I'm going to need two more units of blood here. Is it happening again? I need more Zyni! Hurry up with that blood! Right in our own headquarters. Manabu. Yuki. Manabu. Did we... Did we get him? Please, don't try to talk now. Yuki, how is he doing? His injuries are severe, but he's doing much better now, Captain. Very good. Captain, what about the intruder? He's still on the loose, but I don't want you worrying about that. Just get better, all right? Bruce? David, Luis, you're done here. Now rejoin the search. Yes, yes sir. sir. Captain, I'm coming too. You're not well enough. You heard her. You should stay put. Bruce? Yuki, keep an eye on him. Right, I will. It's just a little scratch. I'll be fine. Lay down. Let's go. Yes, sir. The intruder's been located. Three crewmen are down, sir. Send back up at once. Yes, sir. from the backup troops has been cut off. I understand. The lives of many dedicated people are being needlessly destroyed. The younger generation must take over where they left off. Don't let their deaths be in vain. Why? Lately I thought that Bruce had really started to believe in me. Don't worry about it. I'm sure that he does. <sighs> it has to do with Owen, not you. Damn! 
guess I screwed up. Owen! <laughs> it's not your fault. I let my guard down, Bruce. I knew better. Try not to talk. Yuki's on the way. I'm all right. I told you. I'm immortal, partner. Stop talking and you just wait. I'll prove that you're not toxic, Bruce. Anymore, okay? Owen! Owen! Don't quit on me now! Owen! I remember him saying at the time it happened, it's like death just keeps hovering around me. Since Owen died, Bruce has been trying to get assignments that don't require a partner. He's afraid that working alongside him will result in someone getting killed. And now that you've come along, I can tell Bruce is worried. He's afraid that death is out to get you. That's why he's acting this way. I see. You should stay put. Minabu, sit down. Don't you understand, Yuki? I've got to go. If that's what Bruce is afraid of, then I need to set the record straight. All this talk about toxic Bruce is a bunch of bull. It's nothing but pure coincidence. I'm gonna prove it to him, finally. I have to. This is Special Intelligence Unit 8-3. I have obtained the classified information. I should be at the rendezvous point in 10 minutes. Someone has accessed the communication terminal on Dock 5. Shut it down! Yes, sir! Get some men over there now. This might be the best chance we get. Yes, sir. All available combat personnel, proceed to maintenance Dock 5. Bruce here. I'm in position on Dock 5. 10-4. Be careful. Roger that. I'm at the terminal on Dock 5. No, negative. There's no sign of the intruder. It's all clear. Affirmative. Don't let your guard down. I'm sending David and Louise to back you up. Be careful. Roger. Bruce! Sensors detecting presence of gas on Dock 5. You're right. I think it's nerve gas. Anyone below ground is in danger. Close Block 3. All personnel underground must wear either a gas mask or a helmet. Closing partition walls in Block 3. <laughs> Opening vents. this for you. Why did you come here? I told you not to! David! David, can you hear me? What's up? Yuuki's out here. Manabu. Let's go. What do you think you're doing out here, Yuuki? I came out here to help you, Bruce. That's what partners do. Did you forget? You've got to go back. I won't do it! I'm going with you! I told you to stay away from me! Why, Bruce? I'm cursed. It's dangerous to be with me. I'm bad luck. Oh, come on. You're just being superstitious. You're wrong. Whoever becomes my partner always gets killed. It's my fate, you understand? I don't believe that. I'll prove that you're wrong. Bruce! Manabu, what do you think you're doing? Manabu, sure you're up to this? Just take him back <laughs> to the medical bay. Stop it. You can't tell me what to do. Manabu! <laughs> no! Let go of me! I'm not going back! Bruce, wait! I'm not willing to put an injured person in harm's way, and that's final. Bruce, no! Just let me go! Manabu, listen to me. You've heard about Toxic Bruce. His partners all end up dead. It's not you. I know. But still, I want to go with him. I have to! I won't try to stop you. Just be careful, huh? I will. Don't you dare get killed. Minabu... Luis, 
Come on, we'll go this way. Right. <clears throat> I wondered how long it'd be till that gas started to affect me. <clears throat> Tell me where the intruder is. I need answers. We think that he's trying to move from the maintenance deck to Block B, Commander. Then why haven't we closed Hatch 28 in Block B? Closing Hatch 28 now. Status update. Maintenance Division 25 is reporting five missing and three injured. 5% of all SDF members have been injured, many in serious condition. Intruder confirmed in Block B. This is Julia reporting. Motion sensors indicate that the intruder is moving from Area 9 to Area 8. Attention Sirius Platoon. David, Luis, go with Bruce to Area 8 at once. Yes, yes sir. Bruce? Bruce, do you copy? Bruce, please report. Go on. We'll keep you updated, Schwan Held. Thanks. Freeze! <laughs> now, stay where you are! You move and you're dead! Tell me what you're doing here! You heard me! Speak up! Tell me what you're doing here! It's you! Leave me alone! Toxic Bruce, right? <clears throat> you know who I am. Of course. I'm Owen the Immortal, and I've come to transform you from Toxic Bruce to just plain Bruce. But it's going to be a very bumpy ride. Let me be. <sighs> Commander, the engine assigned to cargo train number 531 at maintenance dock 4 has just been turned on! Shut it down! It's not responding. Close the partition! Yes, sir. I'll finish you once and for all! No! Bruce! That was a reckless move. You could have been killed. If you have a death wish, join another platoon. We don't want you here. You remember saying that to me once, don't you? This is Manavu. Why did you stop me? Stay here, you will be. No! I'm going with you. No, you're not. Then you're not going either. I have to do this alone, understand me? I don't want you to die, now move! Bruce... Bruce, wait! Look, over here. Isn't that Bruce's? Yeah, that's his alright. Oh, great. I hope he hasn't gotten himself into any trouble. Yeah, me too. I heard Manabu start to call in and then stop. I heard Manabu too. But Bruce... He isn't answering his radio. Manabu isn't with him, is he? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I should have stopped him. Easier said than done. All right, then. Let's go back them up before it's too late. Yes, yes sir. sir. There's no escape. All the remaining partitions have been closed. All right. Let's put an end to this. Your time is up, Death! No!
Abu! Sorry, Bruce. Drop the gun. No, Bruce. Don't do it. Do it now or he dies. Understand? Okay, I will. Just don't kill him. Don't worry about me. Shoot! I can't do that. Forgive me, but no one else is going to die on my account. Bruce! What is this place? Bruce, what are you doing out here? David, is that you? <laughs> I don't think he gets it, you guys. Louise? Bruce, aren't you feeling a little lonely? Yuki, what are you talking about? She means that you're the only one who's still alive, Bruce. No, that's not true! Captain! Yuki! Louise! David! This isn't real! It can't be! Losing all of our friends is painful, isn't it? They're not dead! You don't want to go through this anymore, do you? You want to put an end to your life, isn't that right? You want to die just like the rest of your shipmates, because that's the only way to put an end to the guilt and the pain. Don't tell me you've killed them all! Yeah, you're right. I did kill them. That's right, it's all because of you. But with your death, this will all end. With my death? Isn't it the only way to end all this torture? Yes. It's okay. No more hurting. No more pain inside. Bruce! Bruce, wake up! Please help me! You've got to try! No! Don't give up, Bruce! Come on! Do it now! Bruce, please! Do it! This ends now. Go back to hell! Are you two okay? Uh, yes, sir. We're fine. Just tired. What is this enormous power that's trying to manipulate our destiny? What was it trying to accomplish? I don't understand. Why can't I see? You're awake. How are you feeling, Bruce? Well, okay, I guess. You inhaled a lot of nerve gas. I gave you an injection to neutralize the effect. You'll still need to rest for a while to get your strength back. Good. Your pulse is normal. Now you've got to promise that you'll take it easy for a while. <sighs> oh, all right. That's better. I guess there was no rendezvous with death after all. I don't think the name Toxic Bruce fits you anymore, do you? Guess not. Well, see you later. Wait. <sighs> Thanks, Yuki. I owe you. <sighs> After many disagreements and conflicts, two men have arrived together at an unexpected destination. A destination known as friendship.
るたびを思い浮かべまた明日へと旅立つ」Next time you see us, we'll be living it up at the Mirage Family Spa. And why not? Even SDF members deserve a break now and then. While we're there, maybe I'll soak in the hot springs and make some snow angels. Let's just hope there isn't any trouble. See you next time on the railways. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, sorry that I didn't do this, I didn't get this out earlier. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, sorry that I didn't get this out earlier, but I'll try to do this more frequently, like I'll do one tomorrow, if it's possible. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and until next time, peace.